Hello and welcome to another Excel demo with Rich Kerr. In this scenario, I'd like to do an analysis of the top three sales amounts that I've got in column A. Maybe I'd like to identify them and then get their average. Uh, so if you want to set up some sample data for yourself, go right ahead and then uh, we'll make it happen. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is use the conditional formatting tool to simply identify those top three values. So I'll select the range. In fact, you could select the entire column. Uh, if you plan on adding more data and uh, that might be even a better way to go so we'll select all of column A and then go to conditional formatting and choose top bottom rules and from the top bottom rules flyout menu I'll choose top 10 items now of course since I only have 10 items they're all selected so I'm going to change that number to 3 and then uh, I don't want light red fill with dark red text for my sales values that sort of counterintuitive so I'm going to hit the drop down and choose my own format. So I'll choose uh, custom format. I'll make the top three cells bold, and I'll make the fill color. Maybe we'll do uh, we'll do a light blue, and click OK, and OK. So one of the nice things about the conditional formatting is if I add a new value. So let's say I add uh, six thousand. Now it's one of the top three. Or if I change an existing value. So if I change this one. Uh, to say uh, 7,000. Now it's one of the top three. What I'd like to do is actually analyze or maybe get the, the total and or the average of just the top three. So first off, how do, I, how do I extract the top three numerically so they can be used in a formula? Well, a longhand way to go would be to create formulas uh, that extract that data. So we'll do first, second, and third and so to extract the first value you could use the max function or uh, we'll use the large function so we'll type equals large open paren and I'll refer to column A comma one so the K parameter in the large function is a placeholder where you're indicating what um, what position you're trying to retrieve so large A colon A comma one gives me the first largest value and I see that that's 7,000, and I will, I will format that. Uh, so for the second largest value, we would do equals large, open paren, again, referencing column A, but comma 2, since I'm looking for the second largest value. And then, uh, in fact, I'll format that one and the next cell as accounting style. So now for the third largest value, we would do equals large, open paren, uh, column A, comma 3. So that gives me the third largest value. And then I could you know, take the average there. So I could average those cells by saying equals average uh, open paren. And then refer to my three, uh, my three values. And so let's just clean up that label there. So this gives me the average of those three values. And of course, if my data changes, then my averages change, right? My average changes because the top three values have changed. So that makes sense, but I don't want to have to actually write the first, second, and third formula separately. As maybe I'm not interested in seeing them broken out this way. I mean, especially if I've got conditional formatting highlighting them in my list. So let's look at a, at a faster way. I'm going to create another label here, labeled average. And so my formula will read like this, uh, equals average open paren, large, open paren, and I'm still referring to column A, comma. But now when it comes to the value of K, again, one for first largest, two for second largest, or three for third largest, if I use the curly braces, so I do an open brace, one, comma, two, comma, three, close curly brace, close paren on the large function, close paren on the average. So what the curly braces allow me to do is enter 1, 2, and 3 as what's referred to as an array constant. So instead of just having the value of 1 or the value of 2 or 3, I can reference all three, which prompts the large function to be executed three times using 1, 2, and 3, all of that happening within the confines of the average function. So now I get the same result, 6,000 is the average but I only needed the one formula 
using the large function and an array constant to specify first, second, and third largest. That's contained within my average function. So now I get the average. And we'll see that when I change my data, then it changes here too. So a faster way of getting the average of the top three, and we can see from the conditional formatting um, that that works out and that actually does reference the, the, the average of the top three. Uh, that's it. I hope this was helpful. Uh, tune in again soon for more Excel videos. Have a productive day.